A health alert tonight as a measles case has now been confirmed in Maricopa County. It comes at a time when measles is on the rise across the United States and overseas. ABC 15's data analyst Garrett Archer takes us inside the numbers and why even one case here is a concern. It's the first case of measles reported in Arizona since 2019. We've only had 68 cases in total since 2007, with three of those years being outbreaks defined as five or more cases of measles. That happened in 2008, 2015, and the largest 31 cases in 2016 at an immigration facility. Uh, the reason health officials notify the public of even one case, it's fully pre uh, vaccine preventable, and it's also one of the most contagious diseases we know of. Almost 10 times more infectious than COVID-19. But even though a vaccine may prevent measles, according to the health department, measles, mumps, and rubella, uh, or the MMR vaccination rates are trending down in Arizona. Rates for kindergartners have dropped more than five points from over 95% in 2011 uh, to about 89% today. The drop is not uniform either. Un uh, Yuma County has one of the highest vaccination rates of kindergartners, but still down almost five points from 99% uh, and then Yavapai County has one of the lowest, a huge drop from 94% in 2011 to just over 75%. Yeah, that's three force. Uh, correlating with the decline is a rise in personal exemptions. 7% of kindergartners in the state now have one. Uh, and it's uh, about double that in Yavapai. The decline in MMR rates is a concern to Dr. Sam Durrani. He says people need to understand that measles is a serious disease. The majority of healthy people will recover from measles, but one in five kids that are unvaccinated are going to end up in the hospital with either pneumonia or encephalitis. And you know what it's like having a sick kid. I mean, there's nothing worse than having a, a sick kid as a parent because you're helpless. Finally, an overview of the Valley's respiratory virus season so far. All three of these viruses on a downward trend in the most recent week. COVID-19 has by far the most confirmed laboratory cases since October of about 70,000, followed by the flu at about 36,000, and finally RSV at just under 14,000. With a look inside your health numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.